Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one we're going to be building the best raid build for Ursa Luna on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now this Pokemon has just come to the game with Pokemon Home, it's very very strong. But to get it you're going to need to catch an Ursa Ring, you're going to need to move it to Pokemon Legends Arceus, evolve it using a Peat Block and then bring it back. So you can catch a shiny version in the game, switch it, bring it back and you'll have this guy, nice little crimson red colour. Or you could test your luck for the giveaway at the end of the week. Now, when the Pokemon comes over, it should just have the ground type Terra. Terra we're going to be using because normal types aren't super effective against anything. So ground type is going to be the better option here. We're going to do more damage. A held item we're going to be using is going to be Flame Orb. What this does is at the end of the first turn, it's just going to burn us. You'll see why later on, but first I'm going to show you where to get it. So just fly over to Lavincia North. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. There's plenty more where that came from. And if you want to join the Discord, link is in the description. Would love to see more people over there. It's tons of fun and I can help you out even more. So to get that item, we're just going to go to the Daily Bro Shot, which is right here. Click on Battle Items, scroll down until you get to the actual orbs. Buy the Flame Orb for 15,000 Poker Dollars. Equip it onto your Luna. Next up, we're going to need the Adamant Mint for the Adamant Nature, which is up and attack, down and special attack. So head to any Chandy Supply shops, the black and green shops. Get yourself an Adamant Mint and use it on your Earth's Luna. As you can see there, up and attack, down and special attack. For EVs, we're going to be using HP and attack EVs. HP for survivability, attack for damage. If you want the items for these, just go back in the Chandy Supply shop and you'll need 26 HP ups and 26 proteins for HP and attack. This will cost you 520,000 poker dollars. It is expensive, so you want a cheaper way of doing it than just head to any daily bro shop. Click on general goods, scroll to the bottom, your power items. Each power item will give you eight additional EVs per kill. Get a power weight for HP and a power bracer for attack. And then I'll show you where to actually farm them. So to farm the HP, just come right here on the map, fly over to the lighthouse, make your way over. When you get over to the water area, activate a fairy type level 2 sandwich and you'll get loads of Azuril spawning and you just want to take out 28 of those and you will have your max HP EVs. If you want to make this easier, get a Persian, put it at the head of your pie, get payday, use PP up twice, it will go to 28 when that reaches 0. You'll have max EVs in HP and you can also get a thousand poker dollars every single fight with payday and amulet coin. Now let's move on to the attack. So for the attack, we're going to be going to South Province Area 3. And around this area, you're going to find Shinx, Young Goose and Growlithe. They all give attack EVs. So take out 28 of those and you'll get your max attack EVs as well. You're going to want to use an electric type level 2 sandwich. So loads of Shinx appear. And then we can move on to the IVs. To check your IVs, go in your main menu, click on boxes. Hover over your Ursaluna, click the plus button. It will go to your max IVs. See how many you need. I've hyper trained five out of the six. You don't need special attack. When you know how many you need, go to any Deli Bro shop and get your bottle caps. So I'm going to go to the one in Lavincia. When you get here, click on general goods. First item will be the bottle cap. Every bottle cap is one max IV. Buy however many you need. And then visit Montenevra. And then we're going to be speaking to the person next to the Obama Snow. He will hyper train your Pokemon. Click your Ursaluna, click bottle caps. HP, attack, defense, special defense, speed. Start the training and you'll have your max IVs as well. Moving on to the ability. The ability we have will be Guts. It'll be one of the normal abilities. So if you get bulletproof, just use an ability capsule. And it will change it to Guts. And what this does is it increases our attack by 50% when we have a status condition. That's why we have the actual flame arm from earlier. So it's a great ability. Now moving on to the moveset, we did try two movesets out. We tried the belly drum and headlong rush. Didn't quite work out. We couldn't quite get the one shots going. So the best option that I found was going to be the earthquake, swords dance, facade and drain punch. So what we've got is we've got our two stab moves, earthquake and facade. Earthquake, very powerful move. It's going to be our main move. Facade it's just there for another stab move and it's quite a powerful move 140 power because we're burnt but it's not super effective against anything so earthquake is going to be better Sars Dance increase our attack by two stages this is going to be better than belly drum and just in case we get in a bit of a pinch we can use a drain punch we're probably not going to use it but it's always nice to have to get HP back now all four of these moves are going to be TMs unfortunately so so we're going to need to do quite a bit of farming to get these Pokemon moves so they're all TMs so just come to the TM machine at any Pokemon Center first up we're going to go for Sars Dance we're going to need Zangu's Claw Gibble Scales and Cypher Claws let me show you where to get these so for Cypher just go to Castoria Watchtower number one 
jump down on the Castraya Lake side over here, and then we're just going to be looking for ciphers. When you find your cipher, just take it out, and you will get your cipher claw. Now for our Zangoose, we're going to be coming to the bottom right corner of the map, put a waypoint right here, fly over to the shrine, make your way over. And when you find your Zangoose, just take it out, and you will get your Zangoose claws. Next up is going to be Gibble, so come to the bottom left corner of the map, fly over to Alfonado. And then we're just going to be coming over to this cave right over here. And just go through the cave until you find Gibbles and Gobites. It's going to be following this path right here. Don't skip the cave, just follow the path, there'd be no point. So here's a group of them right here, we're just going to take them out. And that will get us our Gibble scales. Next up is going to be Facade, so we'll need Kamala Claws, Tinker Tink Hairs and Stantler Hairs. Let's go get them. So first off we're going to get our Stantler, so we'll come to the same place we got the Zangoose. Now for the Stantler, I like to come a bit more north where the tree and this ledge is right over here as opposed to near the water. So we finally found our Stantler, now we're going to take it out and we'll get our Stantler here. Now for our Tinker Tink, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the desert, so put a waypoint right here, fly over to the watchtower, make your way over. So you see them ruins over there, they're the ones we're going to. So when you get to the ruins, you'll see them straight away. We just need to take out one of those and we'll get our Tinker Tink hairs. Next up, Kamala. So to get Kamala, I like to come around Medali, so fly over there. And then we're just going to be looking around the outside of Medali. So we found one right over here, so we're just going to take that out, and then we'll get our Kamala Claws. Next up, we have Drain Punch. So for this, we're going to need Krogunk Poison, Mankey Fur, and Crabrawler Shells. So let me show you where to get these. So to start off, we're going to go get our Krogunk and our Mankeys. So you want to put a waypoint right here next to where this water is. Fly over to South Province Area 5, make your way over. When you get to the swamp, you can actually find Krogunks on your way. So if you do find one, just take it out, and you will get your Krogunk Poison. When you get to the end of the actual swamp, climb up, and you can find a Mankeys up here. Oh my god, it's a shiny piggy. Let's go. We love the pink pig. We're gonna try and catch this special piggy in the love ball. Let's go. You gotta love the pink pig. Come on now. It's a nice little clip for the video. All the shinies coming out. Oh, there's a mankey as well. Just what we needed. And that will get us our mankey fur, and now we can move on to the next Pokemon. So the last thing we needed is a Crabrawla shell. So come right here on the map where this raid is. Fly over to East Province Area 3 rest stop and make your way over. When you get to this island, there'll be loads of Crabrawlers just chilling. Just take out one of them and you'll get your Crabrawla shell. It will be a Crabominable on the island somewhere. They'll give you more of them if you want to take that out while you're here. Next up, we have Earthquake. Next up, we have Earthquake. This is going to be a very strong move. We'll need Fampy Nails, Diglett Dirt and Barbulch Slime for this. So first off, we're going to go get our Diglett Fur. Not Diglett Fur. Diglett doesn't have fur. Diglett Dirt. To get your Diglett, just come right around here. So I'm just going to head over there now, keeping an eye out as I go. There's a Diglett right there. So we're just going to take that out on the way. And that will get us our Diglett Dirt. Our Fan Pete, we can get in the actual desert on the left side. So just fly over to the desert. When you get to the desert, just keep your eye out for Fan Pete or Don Fan. There's a family of them right there, so we're just going to take those out. And that will get us our Fampy Nails. Now to go get our Barboach. Now to get Barboach, what we're going to need to do is come right here on the map and just make our way down the stream right along here. So fly over to Apaldius Highest Peak, and then we're just going to be slowly coming down. Once you get to the actual start of the little stream, we're just going to keep going down until we see Barboach. Now we didn't actually find one, so I would highly recommend using an Encounter Power Ground sandwich when you're looking for your bar boach if you need a bar boach they are quite annoying to find for some reason after you have it that will be the full build smash the like button if you're enjoying this video so far and we can get into those raids so first up we have a six star fire type tinkerton let's see how it goes we love that shine so we get hit with a gigaton hammer that does a decent amount of damage actually considering we have very high defense we're gonna hit him with a sword stance raising our attack by two stages then we get burnt because of our item and now we're just gonna use earthquake see how much damage it does doing quite a bit of damage actually he uses Gigaton Hammer again. We're going to use Earthquake. I just want to get three Earthquakes out before we go down. Tinkerton is already on half health and the shield's gone up. So because we're burnt, it's almost as if we don't have 140 attack. We have like 210 attack, which is incredible. We're doing so much damage at the minute. So this is probably where we go down. So we're not going to terrestrialize here. You're probably going to go down once every single time you raid with this Pokemon, but that's fine because we've got plenty of time. We get back. What we're going to do now is we're going to terrestrialize and use Swords Dance. We get hit with the Gigaton Hammer. Doesn't matter though because we're about to output a ton of damage. I've been really looking forward to you. Oh no, we get hit with the Nullification. We need that one Swords Dance, so I'm going to activate Swords Dance. Now we don't actually have the Flame Orb, which is unfortunate, 
but we're still going to do a lot of damage as you can see we're still doing a ton of damage the flame orb kicks in and we are now burnt and next attack it'll probably finish it off so we're going to use earthquake now and i'm guessing that finishes N not quite we've got a tiny bit left the shield does break though and with our next attack we're guaranteed to attack first because the shield just broke and we'll just finish off the tinkerton with an earthquake as you can see this pokemon's very strong it has very good hp very good attack very good defense not too bad special defense i think it's 80 special defense so you're going to be having fun with this pokemon especially if you like ursa ring ursa luna and all them lot let's move on to the second raid next up is going to be the special fighting and fire type tauros this could be a tricky one because it does have close combat but let's see how it goes anyway so i already know it's going to do a ton of damage to us but we have good defense and every time he uses it he lowers his own defense because it's such a strong move and we have an intimidate user so i think we can get away with using a sales dance here it's going to kick off with a close combat that's fine it doesn't do half damage he lowers his own defense we use sword stance we now get burn increasing our attack by 50 percent i think the play here is drain punch taurus couldn't move because it's paralyzed that's great we're going to use one more earthquake to tip it over that halfway mark oh wow it nearly kills it that was a very strong move his shield goes up i didn't actually expect it to do that much damage oh he used close combat so his defense went down that makes more sense so he's going to use bulk up so his defense is back to normal and his attacks on plus one i still don't think he takes us out in one shot so we're going to use earthquake he's going to use flare blitz because the sun is up so let's see how much damage this does does quite a lot of damage this earthquake should finish him off though and the Tauros goes down a very fast raid fight with Earth Luna's bulkiness and high attack coming out on top. Let's move on to the third raid. We've got a six star fire type Clodzire. So he has Yawn, but we have a Flame Orb. So we pretty much just cancel out Yawn. So I think this should be a very good matchup for us. We're just going to use Sword Stance. If he uses Yawn, that's a wasted move. He does use Yawn. Our Flame Orb activates, so we can't go sleep now because we're already burnt. He nullifies first turn. That's unfortunate. So we're going to have to use Sword Stance again. Wasted move on our turn. He uses Earthquake on us. I'm going to use Sword Stance again to go plus four. So we're going to use a third sword stance. Now we're on max attack. We're going to use a go all out here. And I kind of just want to see how much damage we do. Let's see how much damage. Quite a lot of damage considering Clod's eye is very bulky. Do we get finished off here? See how much damage the burn does. Shield goes up. Can we survive on one? We get hit with a burn, survive on two. We're going to use drain punch here. We should attack first. And that should get us enough health back to survive. We're going to use Drain Punch again. I'm just trying to stay alive because we're on max attack. Clod's Eye is paralyzed, can't move. That's amazing. And now we're going to Terrestrialize into a ground type and just finish him off. So we have Terrestrialized. Now we're going to use Earthquake and the Clod's Eye goes down. So as you can see, this Pokemon Earth Luna is very, very strong. Highly recommend either entering the giveaway or going and getting one from Pokemon Legends Arceus. And if you want to see a really powerful Zacian build, which personally I think is the best raid Pokemon on the game since Pokemon Home has come to Pokemon Scarlet, that I've used so far anyway, then click on screen right now and I'll catch you on the next one.